This is Lavandova Osada, which I would translate into English as the Lavender Settlement. This wonderful location has been started by a young couple, Barbara and Bartek Ischak. They have a fascination for lavender and they have created an agritourism destination set in the Kashubian upland region to the west of Gdansk. On a personal note from me, at the very beginning, I want to give my own observations. I once ran a tourist company. I now live in a motorhome and, if you're watching this, you know that I have a YouTube site related to travel. So I think it's fair to say that I've travelled around a bit. I take an interest in this business. I attend professional trade events. So is it fair to say that I have a little bit of knowledge on the subject? My conclusion on Lavandova Osada is that this is the best agri-tourism location I have ever been to. The historical region is one of lakes and rolling hills and thus makes a fascinating backdrop. It is located to the west of Gdansk in Poland. In the interwar period this was part of the free city of Gdansk. The hotel part of the settlement is in Kashubian style houses which you can see here. There are currently 40 beds available but they also offer the possibility of tent camping. I arrived in my motorhome of course but that is not part of the standard offer. The theme is completely around lavender. At present there are very few lavender plantations in Poland. My visit was in August which is not the best time to see it as it had just been harvested. However we can get a good idea of the size of the fields. My interest in lavender came about as a way of keeping mosquitoes out of my motorhome. However, in time I grew to appreciate its smell. Lavender is reputed to have a calming effect both in fragrance form and also as consumed in tea. As such, it has long been used in aromatherapy and herbal medicine. It is a component of many spices and various fragrance sets. Lavender flowers have antiseptic, bactericidal, antispasmotic, anesthetic and anti-rheumatic properties. They appear to improve immune function. The whole strength of this plant centers around the oil it contains, hence lavender oil is used in creams, lotions, massage oils and more. In folk medicine, lavender oil is also used as an ointment rubbed into aching muscles and joints as well as places affected by paralysis, bruises and sprains. Lavender in aromatherapy is used to treat depression, burns, acne, rashes, arthritis, athlete's foot, psoriasis, insomnia, pain, palpitations, anxiety and nervousness. It relaxes muscles and relieves tension. Lavender Osada also offers spa treatments with the trained masseurs mixing mixtures of herbs for aromatherapy, mainly with homegrown lavender in the form of salts, oils and soaps based on lavender, as well as in the form of fresh and dried bouquets. Another part of this spa is the salt grotto where one can sit and relax and breathe in the clean, salt-infused air. The salt grotto has a unique microclimate characterized by exceptional bacteriological purity, humidity and temperature. This is likely to be beneficial for those with respiratory diseases, hypothyroidism, cardiovascular diseases, dermatological diseases, neurosis and depression various types of allergies and a weakened immune system. The lighting inside is designed for relaxation and music is an option. The word spa comes from the Latin sanitis par aquam 
and lavender or cider uses water as a fundamental part of its treatments. The spa offers hydrotherapy, chromotherapy, aromatherapy, music therapy and halotherapy. It has a wood burning hot tub, jacuzzi and cold tub. There is also a wood fired Russian sauna, sometimes referred to by its Russian term banya. Banyas have been in existence for at least 2000 years in both Eastern European, Chinese and Japanese cultures and are particularly effective for cold weather treatments. They can improve resistance to getting colds and the flu, possibly also lower blood pressure, reduce joint pain, help with respiratory ailments, strengthen insomnia therapy and of course offer a great way of socialising with friends and family. Indeed, as you'll have seen in many films, the Romans doing this 2000 years ago. Lavendova Osada, further to all this, offers aromatherapy mainly from herbs and oils which they have produced, including of course their own lavender. Another curious feature is the Astronomical Lab Observatory. The main telescope is a schmidt cassegrain with a mirror diameter of 280mm and a focal length of 2800mm which will magnify up to 419 times. There are also smaller telescopes too. This for me was a wonderful place to stop and visit. The food, of which I so far haven't mentioned, was fantastic. Local food, Kashubian food. It was um, quite wonderful. The company was great and the location was marvellous. So what more can I say? So I think in this video, rather than talk much about my own experiences, I've actually talked more on the subject of lavender, but as it's a something which interests me, it was what brought me there in the first place, I um, really have to apologise for that. But um, I'm sure I'll return to this with my own experiences at a later date. But if you want to know more, I'll put a link below to their web website. So thank you very much for watching.